Chicken wings are fantastic all year round. If you're tailgating, throwing a football party or something, great. Wednesday evening, great. Chicken wings, chicken wing it up. And today we're gonna elevate. We are going to do some harissa honey chicken wings. If you don't know what that is, we'll yeah, get into wait, it. Wait, what was that, harissa? Delicious, it's delicious is what you need to know. Let me show you how to do it. There is the age old debate, flats or drums. I am 100% a drum it's not kind a debate, of guy. It's a flats thing, for sure. No, drums all the way. And today was my recipe, and I didn't include CJ on the decision making process, so we're going drums only. What you think about that? Serious? Serious drums only. Dude. So drums only, that's just my particular preference. Uh, you can make it however you like to. What I'm gonna do is just a bit of salt and pepper and olive oil. Let's get our griddle to about medium heat. We wanna go a little slow. Uh, the drums do take a little longer, CJ, to cook uh -huh. than the flats, uh, but we wanna take this a little slow. We wanna bring them up to temperature evenly, and then we can work on crust later. Uh, all the other ingredients are gonna come into play with that. I'm thinking we're at about 12 minutes or so uh, on these. If you want to, uh, if you're worried about them being undercooked, you can add a bit of water and a dome, get a bit of a steam effect, uh, but remember, if there's water present, you're not gonna get crispy caramelization, so get all the water away, then crank the heat back up, add a bit more oil if you need to to get that crust, to get them looking like this. Now, here's where we're gonna get kind of fun. Harissa, it's, it's originally from Tunisia. It's a Northern African condiment. Think of um, almost like the sriracha of Northern Africa, right? But I think way more flavor. It's fantastic. It's so, so good. Uh, it's also very, very hot and <laughs> very spicy. So uh, be a little ginger with it. We're gonna add a few little dollops around our chicken wings. Uh, we're gonna hit that with a bit of sesame oil, uh, a bit of honey drizzled over the top, and some soy sauce. Uh, add a bit of water here, right? Our crust is where we want it. We're not losing crust. A little, little water is going to help us evenly combine all of those ingredients. Uh, so give everything a nice big toss. You're going to see it starts to get glazy and the, the color darkens really, really quickly. That rich, beautiful red of the harissa uh, and the soy sauce, that deep brown, like we're getting gorgeous, gorgeous wings. Now my garnish is really, really simple. Some chopped cilantro uh, and some sesame seeds. I mean, that's really all you need. I like to serve these family style. Uh, you can serve them individual portions, but come on, it's chicken wings, family style. Serve it like a party platter, the party platter that it is. These are honey harissa chicken wings. Let's give one of these bad boys a go. Oh yeah. Yeah? Oh yeah. You know what? It's missing something. Yep. I 100% didn't. No, no. <laughs> no. I promise I didn't forget at all. Lime juice? We need a touch of acidity. Now, in the past we've talked on my show, a well-balanced dish is one that your palate goes, oh, that's perfect. Oh, that's delicious. That's really, really good. So we're missing a touch of acidity, right? Salt and pepper, it's kind of all the seasoning and then the harissa, but we're missing a touch of acidity. Now the bright sweetness of lime juice uh, is different than vinegar, but you can get acidity from vinegar. Uh, well, let me get this little guy right here, CJ. This is the one I'm trying. Oh yeah. Um, so it's, it's a different kind of acidity, but citric acidity is good. Mmm. That's a restaurant wing. That is a chefy wing, perhaps. So if you wanna take your wing game up a few steps, you could. Thank you guys for hanging out, I appreciate it. Uh, click the subscribe button down below, click the bell icon, icon so you get an, every video. You guys know what to do. Do the stuff, do the thing, share it, leave a comment, all that stuff. This is Cook, Eat, Repeat, where we like to help you become a better cook one recipe at a time. I'm your host, Chef Nathan Lippy, and I will see you all in the next video.